Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my April, is it April? Yeah, April monthly favourites. So I've got quite a few things to show you so I'm just going to get going with it. I'm going to start off with this because it's quite a strange thing for me to have in it. But it's the conditioning nail polish remover pads from Boots and I've used ones from Superdrug before and I really really love the ones from Superdrug. And these are not too bad but um, I definitely prefer using the pads now rather than like actual nail varnish remover and some cotton wool because it's just so much easier and for some reason I'm not really sure what these are made out of it's like an oil rather than like your usual liquidy nail polish remover but it gets rid of nail varnish super super quick and usually I can use only two of these and there's 15 pads in a pack so I think probably if you calculate it, this is actually a lot cheaper than buying nail varnish remover and nail um, cotton wool pads. So yeah, I definitely will be sticking with these remover pads from now on. I really, really like them. So I've been using them all month to take my nail varnish off because I've been painting my nails a lot. Next thing I have is from Superdrug. And this is, I think it's a new collection. And it's the Vitamin E gentle eye makeup remover and this is fantastic it smells really nice and it gets makeup off really really well the way i use it it's supposed to be put it on a pad and then rub your eye makeup off but i tend to use it with rubbing it into my eye makeup first and then wiping it off because i think it works a bit better than um, that way so i use it like that and yeah, I've really, really been liking this. And this is a massive bottle. This is for normal to dry skin, but I have really sensitive skin, um, combination skin, so this works fine for me. It's only on your eyes, so it doesn't really make that much difference, but it's really nice and moisturizing, and yeah. So I really, really like this. And I think, how much do you get in it? 100 mils, and it's something like two pound or something, so it's a really, really great bargain. Next thing, moving on to more makeup-y type things. I have this. Now, I haven't tried a lot of Soap & Glory makeup stuff. I've tried like shampoos and soaps and things like that. But um, this is the first sort of cosmetic-y type product I've had from Soap & Glory and it's their highlighter. It's called Glow All Out and it looks like this and it comes with a mirror in the top as well. And it's just a really nice pink highlight and it's got Soap & Glory embossed on it as well. So yeah, I've really, really been liking this. It's nice. It's not too pigmented because sometimes I find with the highlighters they tend to, like my soft and gentle MAC skin finish, it's quite bronzy so it'll put a little bit of colour on whereas this is quite sheer and doesn't really put too much colour on, just a nice shimmery highlight so I'm really really liking this and it's made me want to try more stuff from Soap and Glory so I love this. Next thing I have is a blush and I've used this in my last tutorial. It's teeny teeny tiny but it's really really good and it's the Rimmel, it's called Lasting Finish Soft Colour Blush and this one is in 020 Pink Rose and I think this is a relatively popular one but it's a really gorgeous shimmery beige colour or pinky beige and it's really good if you have very fair skin and I've really been liking this. I was really impressed with the pigmentation of it. Um, I tend to stay away from Rimmel powders because the eyeshadows aren't that great um, but the blushes actually are pretty damn good so I'll be getting more from good old Rimmel. I would prefer them to be a little bit bigger but they're not that expensive so I'm not really that bothered but yeah it's a little bit small but works very well. Moving on to lips now. Now this isn't technically one product, um, this is sort of a rave of a range of products so I have been loving the Revlon lip glosses these have to be my all-time favorite drugstore lip glosses they are fantastic I have this one in in I have this one in peony I think that's how you say it and I have this one in Bellini and this one's a really this one hasn't got as much shimmer as this one this one's very shimmery and this one's quite I don't know not that shimmery but a little bit of shimmer and it's more of a nude colour and this is a really nice pink colour as well and I've been loving these, they're really opaque which I like from lip glosses I don't tend to like the ones that are quite washed out and that don't give you much pigmentation they're just there to sort of give you a little hint of colour and a bit of gloss 
I prefer to just use one product and that is it. So I really like opaque lip glosses and these are fantastic. I was really, really impressed with these for a drugstore product. I think these are fantastic and they feel really nice and they're really comfortable to wear as well. So I've been loving them. Next thing I bought recently, again, I used it in my last tutorial and it is the Max Factor 4 Slash Effect Mascara. I am so late in coming to this product. It's been around for years and I just, I just never tried it because the Max Factor's mascaras are pretty expensive for drugstore brands. Um, but I'm glad I did because it's fantastic and I really, really love it. It's not overly lengthening but it's supposed to be a volumizing mascara so I'm not that bothered. It just gives you that really nice full lash effect and actually I was a bit worried about how thick the brush was because it's quite a big brush and I wasn't sure how the bristles would grab each individual lash and um, so I was a little bit worried about it being clumpy but no clumps whatsoever. Absolutely love it. I cannot fault this at all. Definite must have in my mascara collection and I have a lot of mascaras. Next thing I got, I actually got this in a set and it's a Real Techniques brush and it's one of the ones that I didn't have before. It was in the travel set. So you've got a foundation brush, um, the domed eyeshadow brush and this little thing here, well it's not really little, this is the multitask brush. I really like the shape of it. It's a bit, it's shaped a little bit like the Expert Face brush but it's not as dense. Um, and it's quite big and I use this for contouring and I use it for blush as well um, well I have been actually my blush brush has been pushed to the side momentarily and I've been using this a lot and I'm really really loving this I mean I love the Real Techniques brushes anyway but I was really impressed with this and because I've seen it people use it all the time and yeah I had to get it I had a £10 Amazon voucher and I thought hey why not so been loving this as well and with this to contour with, this might seem a little bit strange, but I have been using Max Omega, which is this colour here. It's usually the colour I use for my eyebrows, because it's great if you have blonde eyebrows. But I was watching a tutorial, I think it was Pixie Woo, and they were contouring and they said, try and get a blush that is quite grey and that hasn't got too much redness in it and I thought well I can never find a blush that's quite grey so I decided to try Omega to see what that was like and it is amazing for contouring if you have a really pale skin I've got my Illamasqua Hollow which is a cream pigment which I use for contouring but I wanted something that was a powder and I've been trying, trying to find one for ages and it's really really hard but um, yeah I've been using Omega to contour with I just wish it was bigger because it's quite tiny obviously it's only an eyeshadow but yeah I've been using that so that might seem a little bit strange but it works super super well so yeah last but not least this is not your conventional cosmetic beauty favorite thing this is Garnier's Olea hair dye and this is in 4.6 deep red I'm not sure if you can get this in the US I doubt it but I might be wrong this is the hair dye that I use on my hair. I have people asking me all the time in my videos, your hair colour is amazing, what is it? Even my hairdresser was like, your hair colour is amazing, what is it? I absolutely love this hair colour. I've been dyeing my hair for years and years and years and years. I started dyeing it when I was in school, so I must have been about 14, 15. And I've used pretty much every single hair dye ever in existence because I've dyed it brown, blonde, red, ginger, black, all colours you could possibly go. I have dyed my hair that colour. And I tried Herbal Essence hair dye years ago and it used to be available in Superdrug and then it disappeared and it was fantastic. It gave you really, really vibrant colour and it made your hair feel nice and soft because it didn't use harsh, really harsh chemicals and it contained like oils and all that jazz and then it just disappeared and they got rid of it and you might be able to still get it in the US I think but over here it's a little bit hard to come by and then this happened this is 60% oils with natural flower oils no ammonia which is a big big plus for me this makes my hair feel so so soft and sometimes after you've dyed your hair your hair feels a little bit dry and you kind of go oh no I've damaged it really really badly 
but after I've used this, even if I don't use the conditioner that comes with it and I use my normal like shampoo and conditioner, my hair feels so soft and it smells quite nice as well so it doesn't have that really horrible ammonia smell and the colour of it is one of my all time favourite reds. At first when I dyed it this red, I was a bit like, oh no it's a little bit too red. Um, but yeah, everybody seems to compliment me on my redness, so I have been loving that. It's a definite, definite must try if you dye your hair quite often. I wish there was a few more shades in the Olea because it's a really great product, but they just haven't got that many shades at the moment because it's relatively new. But um, yeah, so absolutely love that. And that is pretty much everything for my monthly favourites. I might have gone through them a little bit quickly, but I'll list all the products that I mentioned in the description below. So you can go and check that out if you want to. So if you want to go and check out my non-beauty monthly favourites, they will be over on my vlog channel and I talk about like food favourites and TV favourites, movie favourites, music favourites, all of that jazz. So you can go check that out. The link to that will be in the description below. And if you enjoy this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up, press subscribe and I will see you next week for another video. So bye bye! This week I am reviewing a much, much loved product. I cannot even begin to describe how loved this product is. It is the Benefit Their Real Must Go.